Mr. Speaker, this week President Obama announced a nuclear agreement with Iran that falls far short of the commitments he's made to the American people. This agreement simply does not stop Iran's quest for nuclear weapons. It lifts an arms embargo against the world's number one state sponsor of terror. It also opens the possibility for Iran to acquire ballistic missiles capable of reaching anywhere in the world. The President's agreement ends sanctions, frees up hundreds of billions of dollars that will help Iran's economy, and will allow an unrepentant Iran to finance terrorism around the world, undermining the safety and security of the United States, Israel, and our allies. Never forget, Iran is responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American service members from Beirut to Baghdad and beyond. The initial Anytime, Anywhere Access standard for monitoring Iran's nuclear program is replaced with Managed Access, where we have to ask permission before entering suspected facilities. This deal does not make the world safer. Far from ending the potential for nuclear arms race in the Middle East, it all but guarantees one. Thank the Speaker, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back.